morning guys welcome back to a brand new vlog so today has been such a like naturey exciting cute day so we saw baby bunnies to start this morning and then we just saw a whole are they called a herd oh it's a gaggle no that's geese what is that called a flock of turkey a family i don't know what you want to call it let me know what is like a big gathering of turkeys called that is a great question. It's not a herd, because I feel like those are cows and bigger animals. I don't know, whatever, let me know. What is that called? But they had babies, so they are so cute. We saw them the other day down the street, but we were like, oh, I hope they come through the backyard, and they did. And I feel like maybe the bunnies and the turkeys are coming through the backyard now because the cats haven't been outside in a few days because Luna butchered the screen and ran straight through it chasing a squirrel. So maybe they feel safer now that the cats aren't out there. I think the turkeys would have gone by regardless, but the bunnies are coming like right up to the screen of the lanai. By the way, we've named them. <laughs> so Larry, okay, so on family day for Larry's birthday celebration, my dad brought over a pineapple that he grew in his garden because he felt bad that we left our old house and the pineapple was nice and green and we left it there because we couldn't, you know, eat it. So we left it there. So he's like, I feel bad, so I brought you guys a pineapple that's right from my garden. So we had the pineapple and then we cut the top off and we planted it. So we have officially planted a new pineapple here. And this morning we saw Bun Bun, little bunny, munching on the pineapple leaves. And I was like, what the heck? That's gotta be like really hard for the bunny. But so we named the bunny, the bunny pineapple. And then we saw a second bunny and then they were frolicking and hopping around. So their names are Pineapple and Hopper. That's what we've named our little bunnies that are out back. So um, anyways, I saw on a vlog, a lot of you guys suggest, okay, so you guys know like skipping beats here. Um, well, you know what, let me rewind before I get too ahead of myself, like I always do. Hmm. What time is it? It is 9.25 in the morning. I have been up since five. Liam woke up at five. He's down for his nap now, morning nap. And I went and had my shower. I did my morning workout. I feel like I smashed it. I always feel like I do so much better if I do my workout first thing in the morning. If I think I'll do it later in the evening, that is just not a good thing. I'm already getting tired by the evening and then everything just goes chaotic and there's too much to do. So I got my workout complete, which is a plus. And then there was something else I was gonna tell you guys and I've already forgot it. But anyways, that has been the morning thus far. And then in the last vlog, I showed the candles, the little LED, little battery light, little <laughs> candles. And a lot of you guys were like, put them inside the fireplace. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so smart. Like I did not even think of that. So after we read those comments, we put them in the fireplace. Larry's unsure, I was unsure at first. They've spent two days in the fireplace now. And I'm like, right. I kind of feel like they're a quirky vibe. So, as you can see, they're like tilted sideways. There is no flat surface in the fireplace to lay them on, not even in the front by the glass. Like that's at an angle, a very steep angle. So if you were to open those glass doors, the candles will come tumbling out. So as you can see, they're all at an angle, but do we like it or does it need to come out? Let me know. Liam hasn't been curious at all. Like he doesn't go up to the glass and try to bang on it to get to the candles. Like he just leaves it alone. So that's a plus, but yeah, let me know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to catch up on this kitchen. I made dinner last night and I didn't get all the dishes done because the dishwasher was full and I didn't feel like hand washing them. So I'm going to unload the dishwasher. It is like so quiet in this house when I'm not talking, you can hear a pin drop. Anyways. All right, I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna go back to my Harry Potter music. Oh my gosh, it's Harry Potter's birthday as I'm filming this video. It is July 31st. Also, happy August. <gasps> that means the next video you guys might see or the video after that is gonna be Liam's. Oh my gosh, guys, there is less than a week until Liam's first birthday. What the heck is happening? I have no idea. The time has flown. I can't believe he's gonna be one. I'm like so torn about it. I'm so excited that he's gonna be one. And then part of me is like, how on earth is he one? How is my tiny little infant baby, who is no longer an infant obviously, going to be one years old? I cannot take it. Um, anyways, my mouth is very dry. I don't know why, maybe it's the workout. I'm not really sure what's happening. I drink some more water, drink my coffee, put the dishes away. It's time to get stuff done. I think Liam's waking up. 
packing up. Dishwasher's on hold. It's breakfast time now. <laughs> Right down with the spoon. <gasps> I'll be left here playing with the wooden spoons. Liam's on the ball mission. <laughs> Liam. It is going on two o'clock. Still no makeup for the day. It's just one of those typical days where I'm catching up on emails and spending lots of time with Liam and we've just been playing and all that stuff, which I just laid him down for his nap. We need to tidy up the living room because it is chaos in here. Here's a quick peek. Do, 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 do. Tidy up the playpen. Liam's new favorite toys are the cat toys, which are the tennis balls and the little squeaker toys. He's obsessed with them, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this up really quick. Living room is clean. Liam is almost asleep. I'm watching him here on the monitor, so we will see. He is this close. And I'm gonna go into the pool. I usually never go in the pool in the afternoon, but I'm doing really well with my workouts and I wanted to increase a workout by adding some swimming and I just wanna relax and take this day for like, I don't know, cleaning, organize. What workout do, you want to start? What workout do I wanna start? None, please, thank you. Anyways, before and I don't wanna to waste too much time like chit-chatting because I only have a certain amount of time to get my suit on, get in the pool, swim around, relax um, before he wakes up from a nap. So, but I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about Verity. I finally finished the book. I don't think I talked to you guys about finishing the book over here. I think I briefly spoke about it on Instagram in a post, but I finished it. No spoilers, don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything if you have not read it. I saw many of you went out and purchased it per my recommendation, which means the world to me. I think that is so sweet. A lot of you were blown away by the um, detail in that book. Guys, yeah, it's explicit. I will say that. It is definitely intense on another level. It's very dark, very sexual, all at the same time. So um, what can I say about the book? Wow, um, mind blown. Essentially, I was mind blown. I didn't, I didn't see it coming. And... Um, I said over on Instagram, which I'm going to say here also, like the whole time I was reading this book, I could visualize it. That's how you know a story is really good and you're connecting with this story. Like you can literally picture the characters, picture the scenes. 
the book comes to life. That is this book for me. I was like, gosh, this is going to be a film. Like, this is insane. And then I told you guys I picked up two new books. So anyways, let me rate the book before I move on. I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10 because it kept me engaged. I flew through it. I never read books that quickly, ever. I've only read one other book that fast. And it was about an online stalker, actually. It was about an Instagrammer. It was part of the Book of the Month Club books. I forget what it's called. I talked about that one too, but I read that one in like a weekend, but I like dedicated the whole weekend to reading. This was pre Liam. Um, but still like for like that book, I got it done so fast in a week. I'm very proud of myself. And then I picked up two new books, which neither I've decided to read. I've actually decided to reach that read this, which I'm surprised that I did decide to do it, but I know why I decided to do it. Um, I have a very exciting trip planned coming soon and I thought you know what this is the book that I'm going to read I'm gonna read Prince Harry so that's my trip kind of inspired me to pick up this book I am just starting like I'm in the part where um, Princess Diana has died and it's just essentially he's telling his story of where he was and how he felt and just that kind of detail about this book I know there is a lot of like back and forth controversy on the whole Harry and Meghan situation and I think it'll forever be that way you know it, it is but we're not living that life so I try not to step into those shoes or have an opinion on their decisions and their shoes because we're not there we're not living that life so I try not to do that but I am planning to read the book see what Harry has to say Prince Harry has to say and um yeah, I think it'll be eye opening, but his writing style is really good so far. It's keeping me engaged. And plus, I really I think along with most of the world um, is very intrigued by Princess Diana and that story. So I don't know if there will be much about it, but I do know that it has clearly shaped the way Prince Harry thinks feels. And, you know, it was quite a catastrophic event. So anyways, that is what I am reading currently. Let me know if you guys have read this and let me know what you thought and also we saw Oppenheimer is that in this video oh it is in this video guys ow I just smacked my fingers into the wall um Larry and I over the weekend we saw Oppenheimer so I'm gonna insert some of the footage from the theater because the theater was so beautiful and I'm obsessed with this movie theater so I'm gonna insert the footage here are you excited I am excited finally made it here finally made it to Oppenheimer yes Look at the old car. See it? Well, they have the haunted mansion out. Do we talk to these things or no? Purchase tickets inside. Perfect. Going along with movie theaters I just have to say like that theater was packed there were so many people and it made me feel like so nostalgic and it felt like old times going to a theater getting popcorn like that's my favorite I know the whole world is like shifting into this like just it comes out on your TV and you watch it from the comfort of your own home and I get that too and I love that but I also like really want to support movie theaters because when I was a teen, it was such a treat to get to go to the theaters with my parents or on a date to the movie theater or with my girlfriends going to see Harry Potter. You know, it was just such a treat to go. So I want to continue like supporting movie theaters so that they don't go out of business one day. I love going to the theater, um, which I've gone twice as of recently. I saw two films. I saw Sound of Freedom a couple of weeks ago with my mom and then and my brother and Luana and then I saw Oppenheimer with Larry and that was the first time Larry has been to a film in a very long time so it was nice just to have a date with him and I watching a movie and Oppenheimer was so good and a lot of you told me to go see Barbie even though in the last vlog I was like eh, Barbie's not really my scene um, there was a couple of you that said you didn't think that you would want to go or like it at all either you went and you liked it so 
Um, let me know, did you see Oppenheimer? What did you think? Guys, that film was intense. Larry and I both agreed that when we were sitting there in a three hour film, it did not feel like we were there for three hours. It was so good. Not once was I like distracted and bored or whatever. It was just such a great film. And I love, and I mean, I, I don't love because I don't know him personally, but guys, Killian Murphy is a vibe. Okay. Okay. He is just, if you are a fan of Peaky Blinders, you'll understand. Like, I said every role that man is in like he doesn't even have to be a bad you know what but he is like he's just he just has this vibe that is just it's wonderful anyways that's all I'm gonna say about Killian Murphy and I have made the mistake of pronouncing it Cillian Murphy because he spells it with a C but I am pretty sure it is Killian so if I am wrong and it's Cillian please let me know but I'm pretty sure it's Killian because I've made the mistake and I've heard people say it so anyways that's just me having my moment let me strip get my swimsuit on, get in the pool. I'll take you guys with me. We'll do some laps. There's some thunder going on outside, I think. Well, there was earlier, so hopefully there's no lightning because if I see lightning or hear a big boom, I'm running back in. I don't play around in Florida with pools and storms. Heck no, I'm not trying to get struck by lightning. That would not be the way I'd want to go. There's no way I'd want, yes, there is a way I'd like to go peacefully in my sleep and I have no idea when I'm old. I think that's mostly everybody's way that they would like to go. Wow, that was dark. How do we get there? Anyway, let's get in the pool. I was just thinking. Ooh, ooh ha. I hope there is no snakes in here or anything that shouldn't be in here because I haven't been in here since Luna bolted through the screen. I wasn't sure where to look just a second. Peepholes there. Um, anyways, I have not been in here since that, so I'm hoping there's nothing in here. There was a frog in here the other day that I saved the last time I was in the pool, but anyways, I'm getting to swimming. And uh, I got the little man with me on the on the viewer thing, although it's really hard to see, but. All right, let's go get some laps in, guys. <sighs> Question, when you guys swim, are you like the professional like overhead swimmers? Or you like the paddler, like the doggy paddler. I'm a doggy paddler. Oh, it's so beautiful out here, guys. The trees, the greenery, the landscape, the sounds of the weed whackers. <laughs> Could do without those, but I can't time the weed whackers and Liam's nap time, okay, guys? It just is what it is. Also, I didn't encounter any snakes or frogs on my way down. double and a half of what our last pool was. So the laps game are a whole new thing. I remember when I was pregnant with Liam. Oh my gosh, I was so, I had one week left of pregnancy to go with Liam on this day. I was probably in the pool swimming because that's how I lived that final trimester was either in the air conditioning or in the pool and I swam a lot that summer. Um, but I don't remember where I was going with that. Totally lost it. Anyways, my goal is 10 laps. One and back is one. I'm at two so far. On to my third. Here we go. Guys, pool's perfect temperature. 90 degrees. I actually did 11 laps. I challenged myself. So the storms are just rolling in. It's gotten very dark, very gloomy. But I am back in the house now, and I'm going to sit down, relax, read. And Liam's still napping. Larry is working on stuff in the garage. And I'm allowing myself to have one of those days that's like chill in a way, but still getting a lot done. Like doing things for, you know, myself, but also cleaning, like doing the dishes, putting the dishes away, the routine stuff, the picking up the toys, doing the laundry, folding the laundry, sanitizing. Like I'm still doing all of those things, but then I'm also getting in the pool during the day doing something that's healthy for me. I also did my co-pilot workout this morning. And now I'm gonna sit down and read, which is great too. So I'm having a great day, guys.
things. Number one, I have finally taken Liam's 11 month pictures. I have been trying to do so for a while and I just haven't got it. And I'm like, well, it's the last week that he's 11 months. <laughs> I need to get it now or it's never gonna happen. We got it. See, we got your pictures. And two, the little corner adhesives, little. little, arrived. So I ordered them off of Amazon. So if you guys are interested in them, I already took them out of the pack, but I'll link them down below. Much smaller than I thought they were going to be, but they work. So I'll show you what they look like. They're very nonchalant. Like, what would you say? Like, not obvious, which is probably helpful. Cause I'm like, if Liam's the type of baby too, that if he sees something out of the ordinary, like if I put some kind of big old honky thing on here, his, his goal is gonna be to plucking it and picking it right on off. He's very detailed like that. So I'm hoping he's not gonna see these, we'll see. So here's what they look like. They're just these jellies and then you put the adhesive on it and you stick it. So I have it on each one of the bottoms and I need to do the top as well. So you put the adhesive here and then it literally just sticks there. So it'll be protected from bottom if he bounces his head into that or top if he falls into it. So corners are now covered and then hopefully it lasts and they stay. Um, I'm assuming since it's temperature controlled in the house and it's not hot and humid, they'll be just fine. If it was humid and hot in this house, I think they would come off, but all the bottoms are done and now I'm just making my way doing the tops of all the tables in here enjoyed spending some time with me during this vlog. If you did give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys again in the very next video. Bye. I cannot believe I just flipped myself that hard right in the face. Like, do my peripherals not work? How does one do that to their own self? I don't know. Oh man. Literally playing Russian roulette every day. I put this stuff away. One of these days, I'm going to memorize where it all goes. Until then, we'll just open all the drawers. This is that drawer that when you open it, everything's gonna topple out and hit you right in the head. dark clouds. Still safe over here though, we'll see. Let me, do I have like a boogie? I accidentally choked on water. It went up my nose and like it was a whole thing. Uh, that was on like lap four. That was great. We survived. Oh, I have to show you still the, Never mind. I did a time lapse or a voiceover or not a voiceover. What the heck's that called? Oh man, oh man, I can't think. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Overlay? Wait, is it voiceover where you show something? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm lost. I'm lost and confused.